case you did not see my previous vlog, my adventure resumes at the prestigious Sakurat Environmental Research Station, a top-notch facility where scientists from all over the world do ecological research. So now I am on the tortoise team. I found the tortoise radio trackers and, and sorry, what's your name again, man? I'm Adam. bad with names. Adam, that, yeah. that's right. You're from the Bay Area, yeah. from California originally. Yeah. And how long have you been out here? Two months now. Two months volunteering here. We are tracking one tortoise with just a radio tracker attached to it. Uh, yeah, so this is a receiver here and then you got the antenna and the cable. The tortoise has a transmitter basically glued onto its shell. And then we set off into the jungle to track the tortoises, which was no better way to spend the afternoon at Sakurat Field Station. You said he's within five or 10 meters? Hidden pretty well. It's here. This is an elongated tortoise. So, can barely see her. And yeah, I can see the transmitter on her shell. Wow, that's really cool. We'll basically just uh, get the coordinates. Yeah, so we'll just do habitat data. Um, right now she's under a bunch of bamboo grass and some fallen logs. So you're mapping the spatial ecology of this tortoise. What's like its conservation status? Um, these are endangered. Okay, so they're endangered. So it's important to know, you know, how tortoises are moving and using different types of microhabitat. So if there's like habitat management, they can use that information for the conservation of yeah. this tortoise. Yeah, exactly that. Okay, this is just a magical experience being out here all the way across the world, adventuring in this forest. If you're volunteering in a project like this, it's just so cool to not only be adventuring in a place like this, but contribute to a real scientific project to contribute to like saving an endangered species, you know? Thanks a lot, man, yeah, for bringing me along. Yeah. When we got back to the field station, some of the Thai people were playing a game that I had never seen before. So this is, you say this is the Thai national sport? I don't know what it's called, but yeah, apparently. We are gonna take the motorbikes down to, uh, it's the marketplace, that's where we're going? Uh, we'll go to get your food at noodle shop first. And noodle shop. <laughs> Tasty meal. Now we're going to the market. How many bots? I just bought something that, that I still haven't bought on the street. Ribs on a stick. Tastes all right. The Thai employees are still having this game day. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. This field station is freaking awesome, dude. I've really met some great people. The cool thing about an ecological field station is you just get so many people who are all interested in nature, all in the same place. And it's just really fun to spend time with people who like the same things as you, who are your own age, who are in kind of the same situation. Well, this is Max, PhD student. He's basically doing one of the studies here that many of the volunteers are helping out with this field work on cobras. Max was the one who I got in contact with to come here and it's just been awesome. All right, so it's nighttime now and Max and I are gonna take the motorbike down the road and do some herping, see if we can find any snakes or anything else. So you got your snake hook. Yep. An oriental garden lizard. Yep, or changeable lizard. So the Latin name is Colotes versicolor. Versicolor meaning, meaning variable colored. That's cool. Cool, so big adult male. And how, how do you say the name of the species again? Colotes mystacius. Colotes mystacius. The Colotes emma. So you can tell them apart. Uh, they're very similar, but but the thing I'm I'm using to characterize them is that Emma has a pair of eye spikes. You can just see the spike just behind the eye there. Yep. Um, but both of them, especially at night, will look just as brown. That 
That night I went to bed early to get up early the next morning to go on a hike before the sunrise. It's about 6.15 a.m. at Sakura Biosphere Reserve. It is twilight, sun rises in a little bit. I am just up here, up the hill from the field station at this dam. It took about 45 minutes to hike up here from the field station. I'm just by myself in isolation, listening to all the sounds. I think dawn is the best time of day because, you know, the forest is just waking up. You hear all of the birds calling. It's just an amazing experience, you know, taking in all the peace. All right, man, now it's time to take the drone for a spin, baby. Sun is starting to climb higher in the sky and I'm gonna head back for breakfast now it's like 730 at this point before I left the field station I asked all the volunteers what their favorite part was of Sakurat well my name is Chevy but they all call me Chevy and I'm from Spain and what I like most about Sakurat is pretty much the environment the nature how close you are to the how easy it is to see animal wildlife here and hey how's it going i like your beard thanks it's like have you guys ever heard that kesha song i like your beard your love is my drug i like your beard i like steve's beard too where are you steve oh, yeah. who wins i'm adam haslam cool and what's your favorite part about this field station um I'd say uh, just being like surrounded by a bunch of people who are also interested in the same thing, uh, going herping all the time and finding a bunch of cool animals. Steven Grigg <laughs> from Ontario. Cool, and what's your favorite part about your experience here at Sakurai? Probably the same as everyone. People out here and then just the cool animals, uh, different fauna compared to back home, so. Uh, what's your name, man? Hi, I'm Roland Subtle. And where are you from? I'm from London. And what was your favorite part about this place? Oh, just, you know, you never know what's going to happen the next day. It's like a roller coaster of different things happening. And then... It's awesome. You, you never know what kind of people you'll meet. You'll never know what kind of wild animals you'll see, right? Okay, what's your name? I'm Sam. From? From Maine. From Maine in the USA. Cool. And what's your favorite part about your experience being here at the field station? Probably being around... Uh, a lot of people that share the same interests and passions as me. That's nice to share that company. So. What would you say is your favorite part of doing your research here at the field station? I've, uh, I've always loved reptiles in, in general, so just being able to work with such an iconic um, reptile, you know, the largest, longest venomous snake in the world, King Cobra, that is just a dream come true for me. Um, but what you actually find is the most one of the most rewarding thing is the education while you're here. You, you're right. doing these education events and you're starting to see, you know, you're, you're educating them and you can see in their faces that you're actually making making an impact. Um, so that's probably the most rewarding, uh, as well as building a, um, a relationship with the local community as well. There's just a couple things I want to say before leaving this place. First of all, I've had an absolutely great time. This is by far the biggest and nicest field station I've ever seen. And it's been really cool to learn about all the research that's going on. The coolest part is just the people who I've met. And that's the thing about doing volunteer work in a remote place like this. When you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a small group of people for an extended period of time, you really have no choice but just to get along and have fun. You just end up making a great group of friends. I've you know, I've, I've been at field stations in isolation for long periods of time. And, uh, you know, to a lot of people, it just sounds boring. But the truth is, there's just a lot of bonding that goes on. And it's really fun, you know. And if you come to Thailand, this field station, Sakurat, it really is just an awesome place to get away from all of the touristy locations. It is gorgeous here. It is safe here. 
Whether you're interested in ecology research or not, this will be an awesome freaking way to get off the beaten path. I'm leaving the field station in this thing. <laughs> 